Magnetic fields before and after the substation would be in service would not be marginally different. Um, again, picture this being a highway for power. We're bringing off a little chunk of that power to go into a substation. Would there be some change because we're taking off some power that would normally be heading down to the next substation? So there's some plus or minus, but as far as the transmission facilities are concerned, there's not a big change for them because that load is still being served in the area. It's just being tapped off at a different point. So not a big change with the transmission. Yes, sir. Uh, a few more. You're on. Yep. A few more things. Um, you talk about EMF not being high around the facility, and you also compare it to a microwave in your house. When you have a microwave in your house, you have it on for two minutes. That's your spike in EMF, and then it goes away. This is going to be a continuous EMF spike that's never going to go away. And you also talk about underground wires going out on Chi Chunk and down partly. I've done research. Even lead does not stop EMF. The only thing that stops EMF is distance. I'd like the board, this is the last thing I'm going to say, to take a look at the pictures, the first picture that you see right there. That's about July from my driveway in front of our house. You can see the poles there. In the winter, all those trees are bare. I, I will not wake up and see that. Because if you choose to give this permit, you'll lose two hardworking taxpayers in this town. And that's that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, ma'am? Oh, oh. Caroline Passa, Drive. I don't live by that area, but I would not buy your house. Because <laughs> when we were looking for a house, um, we we bought some land and initially we were looking for a house. Is your mic on? Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. I can hear it. Okay. We were looking for land initially and there was some land. It was a really good price, very beautiful, but it was by water towers. I wouldn't buy it. So I wouldn't buy your house because if you can actually see it, I wouldn't buy it. And then because of the other thing. And I have a question for the gentleman over there. Would you buy this house? Would you live that close to it? Who are you asking the question of? Um, the owner of oh. And what's the question again? Would he buy his house? Would he live in the house that close to With your family and children. Again, you know, the purchase of a home is a personal thing. I can only say that from a magnetic field perspective, there's no change. Uh, that, and that's all I can say. I understand your point about magnetic fields, uh, you know, with distance. And all I'm saying is that the distance on this station is what uh, benefits you there. I guess I wasn't done. Sorry. Um, so you wake up December. It just snowed, you got your snow water. You want to look at that every morning? You want to worry about if, if we ever have children, if I can even still have children? That you want EMF to give your kids leukemia and possibly give me a brain tumor? Really? I like the way you danced around that little question. You know what? I should make you a deal right now. If this permit is passed, I want you to buy my house for the cost that, it's, that, that it was assessed for a few months ago. Buy our house, buy our land. I'll come back in 20 years, I'll pay the doctor's bills. I want your entire family tested for cancer. Okay? How about that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Or, ma'am, I can be passing the mic back to you. Nancy Wiggins again from 32 Owens Road. I just want to ask the board to really think about this. Um, Owens Road is in a, um, what was it called? Scenic. scenic. It's a scenic area, okay? It's protected because of that. We're not allowed to put a chain link fence up on our property. <coughs> and, you know, think about what you're approving here. Think about the effect it's going to have on your town residents, the whole town, really. Well, that's the purpose of this meeting tonight, is get your input so we can think about it. I mean, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Um, would someone like to make a motion that we close the public hearing? Well, uh, before I entertain that, I'd okay. like to uh, speak with council here. Um, I certainly, from what the people have said tonight, 
Okay. I have uh, concerns. Right. Well, sure, then go ahead and do that. When, so, so since, uh, no, at least in my mind, no final decision is going to be made tonight. That's correct. Um, what do we, what is what is best for us to do, keep the public hearing open, or close it, and then deliberate for ourselves? Yeah. If there's a belief that there's going to be further submission, be it written or oral, you should keep the uh, public hearing open. Okay. If, however, there is no indication of any further submission, again, oral or written. There's a time frame, right? No, no, there is no, no time frame? Okay. So, uh, what, I don't know, what I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking to keep the thing open so, uh, that, so that the board, and the special itself, can do some more due diligence because there was a lot of information that came out tonight. Oh, okay. we're certainly going to discuss it. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. I'll second okay. that motion. All right. That's a motion. Yeah, I'll make it. Right. Can I have that okay. restated? I'm not, well, I'm just saying to keep the public. No, so the motion is to keep the keep public. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. And I'm seconding yeah. the motion. Okay. Any further discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The public hearing will be kept open. I would like to say to the public that we will give due diligence on this. And, uh, um, and in many of these cases, we we've, we've uh, Spent a lot of time digging out as much information as we possibly can. Yeah, if I may, it would be appropriate tonight just to have a control measure of date or otherwise, right. so the public who is here would be and the applicant would be aware of what your future scheduling intentions are. So we'll set a date for a continuation of this public hearing. Today. I would recommend that. Yeah, all right. We did. Absolutely. We have. Sorry, Several coming up. Um, let's pick a day here. I know we have one on the 27th, we have one on the 30th. We probably ought to put this into October. So, so what's the first meeting first in October? The first work session in October. The 11th. <laughs> the first um, work session in October would be October 12th. The 11th being Columbus Day, we be celebrated as a holiday. But we will meet the following evening, October 12th. Would someone like to make a motion then that we reconvene uh, this public hearing on October 12th? So moved. Second. At 7.30. 7.30 or soon thereafter. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. So we will reconvene this public hearing. It's 7.30 or soon thereafter on the 11th of October. Well, I'm sorry, pardon me, the 12th of October. It also should be noted that there will be not, I believe, no any further publication and or uh, mailings. It's a question of, I assume the news media will pick up on the news item right. and so advise the public. Which, again, we'll make every effort to remind people of public sessions. There will be no formal publication. Okay. So to the folks who came for this one, the, this is complete. Uh, the next item, we'll give people we'll give you a few minutes to moments to leave. Okay, the next one is a continuation of the public hearing regarding the uh, Timber Trails LLC request for a special use permit. Would someone like to make a motion we reconvene this public hearing? I move. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. No. Now, Okay. Um, what I'd like to do again is welcome you all to participate in this. Um, this is a continuation of one before. We've heard a lot of information relative to this particular request for a, a, a special use permit. Um, I do have one item that's going to be, it's a written comment that I'd like to put in. It's from uh, bear with me. 
Regina Leone, or Leone. It's a uh, it's a letter that she sent to John Sullivan of the Times Herald Record, and um, she wanted to uh, respond to that, and she did, and this will go in the record. And she said.